life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for our souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Having therefore these promises, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Creator of the universe and all life within, we praise you for the nourishment that you provide. Thank you for meeting our physical needs of hunger and thirst. Forgive us for taking that simple joy for granted, and bless this food to fuel our bodies forward into your will for our lives. We pray that we will be energized and be able to work for the glory of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. nationwide flurry of mysterious falling meteors have alarmed experts and scientists who have declared the event as an unusual phenomenon. The National Weather Service issued a statement saying, after reviewing several observational data sets, the NWS can confirm that crashes and booms heard by residents across the states were not thunder or lightning, but instead crashing meteors.
We continue to monitor feeds from astronomical agencies for an official explanation for this wave of cosmic objects <laughs> to determine if there is any threat or danger to civilians. <laughs> oh. These are just a few videos captured by shaken residents over the last 24 hours. God to work in your situation, open the door. Open the door to your soul and spirit and let Jesus inside. Let Jesus inside. To resist the glory of our Savior into your hearts is to sentence your living soul to eternal damnation. Do you want to know why? Because each and every one of us is born into this world with an unholy, evil, savage creature within and it possesses your minds and your spirits. That's why there's so much malevolence, torment, barbarism, and debauchery in our world today. The savage creature within all of us must be purged, or we are doomed to burn in the eternal flame. I'm Liz, and this is my son, Darby. Nice to meet you, Liz and Darby. I'm Rose, and this is my good friend, Ursula. And so, where are you headed? As far west as you can take us, that would be appreciated. Well, we can take you to Cedar City. We live just a few miles south of there. That would be just fine, actually. Thanks, Liz. Not to pry, but when's the last time the two of you had a warm bath and a hot meal? Longer than we care to say. How about you come home with us, get cleaned up, have a quick bite, and Darby will take you back to the edge of town. Sound good? We can't impose. It's no imposition. As a matter of fact, I insist. It'd be nice to have a little company for a while.
set your bags on the bench there if you like. Thanks. Been our home for almost 25 years. I can take your coats and hats. ladies like to eat? We actually just ate a little while ago, so please don't trouble yourself. We really appreciate it, though. You sure? Yeah, I'm still really full, but thank you anyway. Okay, well, enjoy your showers. We have two showers upstairs. Follow me. over a good while. Okay. I didn't find anything, but I think we should get out of here. Yeah, I got the same vibe. I'll look at it now. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, there's so much of this. they refuse, then we have to separate them. Since they're not eating anything, we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Get them from behind. I'm doubling the dosage. They'll be out in a snap. Well, look at you two. Absolute visions of beauty. Thanks again for everything, Liz, but we really need to be getting back on the road because it's gonna be getting dark pretty soon. Well, you know you're welcome to stay the night. We can take you first thing in the morning. Oh, thank you. We, we really do appreciate that, but we would like to be on our way now. Well, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping that you'd stay a while longer. Would have been nice to get to know you better. But hey, I understand. I'll get your coats. You have to excuse my mom. We don't get many visitors here. She gets a little lonesome. Not to mention my sister left a couple years ago. She took it really hard. I understand. These hats have seen better days. Darby has a whole lot of extra caps. Can we at least offer you replacements? Oh, well, uh... Darby, take Ursula. Let her pick out a couple. I'll stay here with Rose. Follow me. Liz, 
Liz, thank you again so much for everything. You're very welcome. Uh, Darby mentioned that you had a daughter as well? Yes, Lily. She was very special to me. Liz, did something happen to her? She passed away. I'm sorry, Darby had mentioned that she left home? Figuratively, yes. She left our world two years ago. It was horrible how she died. Here you go. Take your pick. She wasn't well in the head. Doctors, psychiatrists, advanced treatments. Nothing could help her. What happened to her? <laughs> she took her own life. It is the greatest mortal sin in God's eyes. You know, suicide. Her soul has been forever damned. <laughs> Not a moment goes by I don't think of her. Where she's at right now. Her soul. Burning alive. In the eternal flame. Cleaning supplies were out. This was unexpected. Okay. Great.
You mean... What are we? chopped up with an axe. Hey, let me tell you, that fucking hurt like hell. Oh, I know all about it. April Uprising, remember? Yeah. Bulgaria. 18-something. April of 1876. We were in Bratsigavo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got speared. Right through the damn back. Those crazy fucking Ottomans. Still have a little scar from that. So now what? Psycho bitch will be back soon. And we gotta take care of him. And yeah, he's gonna turn in a minute. Yeah. I'll go get the bags. to see this when she gets back. Sounds good. fucked up what you did, Liz. I actually kind of liked you. We were just gonna rummage through your house, take what we needed, and go. And do you know where we live? No. Damn it! all love. And I really don't like to kill women. Damn it! But you're no woman at all. You're more monster than me. Dragging them out the roads, it's been a really long day. 
Mm, you're right. I'm beat. There's a closet over there. We can just shove them in. Now you're talking. <laughs> Cannibals? Cannibals. They were gonna eat us. Fucking cannibals. I'm not blaming you, Ursula. We both fucked up. It was too easy for these yokels to take us down. It's embarrassing. How did we let this happen? Maybe we're just tired. No. No, we're not tired. We're lazy and careless. We used to sense that shit a mile away. We cannot let this happen again. I know, but you have to admit the census have dulled a lot over the last few decades. I do, and I'll tell you why. Why? It's the blood. It's poison. Because everybody in the 21st century is jacked up on opiates, heroin, crack cocaine, methamphetamines, and so on and so on. It's pure poison. And we, my love, We've been feeding on it. And this is the purest blood we've had in years. And I'll tell you why. Regardless of how crazy these sick, twisted fucks were, they kept their bodies clean. This is like the old turn of the 20th century stuff. And it's goddamn euphoric. I miss those days, Rose. I really do. It was so easy. Before science and technology kicked our asses. The surveillance cameras and motion detectors and satellites and GPS. Ugh, and forensics. And now everybody has a fucking video camera in their phone. How is a vampire supposed to survive in this day and age, I ask you? Small towns, homeless shelters, and the derelict. Mm. But it's all trash. We had it so good back then. The wealthy, elite, the opulence and the extravagance. Blood was transcendent. Now look at us, fucking vagabonds. Feeding on cannibal blood. Pathetic. We're pathetic. What's gonna happen to us, Rose? We keep foraging ahead. Meet each new challenge as they come. Regardless of how fucked up they may be. Like today, for example. And hope that my prayer is answered. Which is? A global power grid shut down. Plunging humanity back into the dark ages? Then, and only then, will we truly be free. And is that your birthday wish? Birthday wish? The night just passed. It is now December the 23rd. It's my fucking birthday? 426 years old. It's still looking good. <laughs> you ready for your present? Absolutely.
Well, that's a new look for you. What time is it? Almost five. You slept all day. How was it? Great, except for all the crazy dreams. Bloody Mary. Absolutely. <laughs> so we've got a problem. What is? of the National News Service is that waves of falling meteors have increased in numbers across the nation. Added to that are hundreds of witness accounts describing living organisms hatching from within the crashed meteor debris. Wait. Okay, we have him live. Okay, put him through. Field reporter Stan Weston is coming to us live from a crashed meteor site in Andalusia County. Stan, can you describe what you're seeing? Rick, the meteor crash site I'm standing next to is about 11 minutes fresh. The meteor is in a cauterized crater about 8 feet in diameter. The meteor's surface is charcoal black, ovular in shape, and eerie green mist is emanating from the meteor's base. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 Rick, the meteor just cracked open like an egg. A milky white fluid is oozing out. Everyone stand back, get back, get it back. There could be radiation. What I'm seeing now are two tentacles. Rick, this is clearly an extraterrestrial life form. Seeing more of the organism, it's pushing itself out of the shell. People stand back. I've never seen anything like this. It appears to be a fleshy life form, shaped like a sea creature. A manta ray comes to mind. Oh my God, it's levitating. It's rising up. It's coming out. Everyone, get back. It's coming towards me. It's getting closer. No, no, ah! Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we strongly urge every one of you to take shelter. Avoid the meteor crash sites at all costs. Military and the National Guard have been dispatched to all counties. This can't be happening. Remember that wish you made last night? For a total power grid shutdown? Yeah, not a fucking alien invasion. Lock yourselves in your homes. Do not venture outside until help arrives. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting more witness accounts of victims attacked by these alien creatures. It seems once bitten by the organism, the victim transmutes from a lifeless state into a rabid, manic predator, who then attacks at random. The threat to us all is now twofold. Wow. They've entered the station. Seal off the exits. Barricade the doors. No, run! Oh! Ah! Still want to bury Liz and Darby? If this is real, which I need to see with my own fucking eyes, then I don't see the point. I say let's get the hell out of here. All right, let's do it. We'll take the van, grab the keys, I'll get the bags. Oh, and Liz had a gun. See if there are more of them and ammo too. <laughs>
I've got to see this for myself. I want to know what we're dealing with. So these zombies, or whatever they are, can't hurt us, but we can kill them. Just shoot them in the head. And those creatures? Hopefully, we don't find out. Rose, this is bad. We're looking at the actual end of everything. Or a new beginning. Too many fucking bad people in this world. They've had it coming. The penance is long overdue. Just when I thought the day can't get any stranger. Oh God, thanks for saving our lives. I'm Father Cooper. That's Sister Gigi. She's a mute. Come on, Lord. So Liz and Darby. Are they here? No, they left a while ago. Oh, oh, their van is in the carport. Uh, they went for a walk a few hours ago, and we haven't seen them since. And who might you be? How do you know the Grangers? We were just hitchhiking through town, and they picked us up. Real nice couple. They let us stay the night and everything. We are supposed to leave this afternoon, but then all this happened. Yeah, I'm starting to get real worried. Yeah, we've been concerned, haven't we? Yeah, I hope nothing's happened to them. They're real fine people. More than that, they're the most saintly, God-fearing citizens in our community. I fear the worst. So, you know how to kill them? Yeah, shoot them in the fucking head. More than that, you've got to hit them in the pineal gland. Otherwise, they'll keep coming for you. Pineal gland. 
As far back as the second century, the Paneo was believed to be the home of the soul and served as a conduit between humans and God. It produces the DMTs, the spirit molecule. That's why they attack us. They're trying to get back that which was extracted from their bodies. You see, the celestial creatures that have invaded our world are soul takers. When they strike, they feed upon the internal spirit and consume it. So all of this just happened, and suddenly you're the expert? Well, I've known about these things since 79 AD. The Book of Revelations it was. And God's children came out before him. And they kneeled down and spoke in a loud voice, O oh, Sovereign Lord, only and true, when will thou judge and avenge those who plot against the earth? I've been warning people about these things for a very long time. But no one listens. No one heeds my warning. And now hell's bowels have and Satan's army has come forth upon the earth. And it will attack and destroy all. We are doomed. From below. From within. And from above. So, we know how to stop the zombies. How do we kill these creatures? It's unknown. It's God's cunning design. So that there's nowhere on Earth that we can run or hide or get away. Nowhere. Nowhere to go. Listen, there's something you should know about your friends. And what might that be? Take a look in the freezer and find out. No, I don't think so. Your model citizens? We're cannibals. The freezer's full of human flesh and body parts. Go see for yourself. I'll not have you defile their character with your lies. I know what's going on here. I think I do, I think so. You avoided the crucifix. You moved away from the holy water. Bite marks on the neck. Spikes in the chest. You're feminists, both of you. 
Look, I don't know where you're from, but I suggest you go back to it. You're not welcome here. You've got a bad vibe. There's a dark energy. It's unclean, unwhole, undead, feeding off the live blood of the living. Your demonic evils, your evil demons, your vampires! Second century, the Paneer was believed to be the home of the soul. It served as a conduit between humans and God. Ten of those things in the front yard. No problem. Let's go.
Damn, I kind of liked her. Oh, so you liked her. She was gonna keep her mouth shut. You ready to do this? Always planning ahead. That's what I love about you. Jinx in here. Shit, that's one of those things. It's dead. Are 
Are you sure? I'm sure. Oh, let's get some light in here. Ursula, that is foul. Well, if you don't like it, go sit somewhere else. Gladly. This organ is an all-in-one brain and heart. That's why it died. Somebody got a lucky shot in with his arrow. So we know how to kill them. Well, like zombies and vampires. Shoot them in the brain and stick them through the heart. Well, ain't that peachy. Makes them easier to kill. I'll say. I'll clean that. Probably need it later. Ow! What? I don't know, it feels like a bug bite. Hey. Ursula? Uh, I'm... What's wrong? Ursula. <laughs>
Now we're even. Oh my god! Oh, you bitch! Fuck you! That is not funny! Oh my god! <laughs> Aww. Don't you ever do that again! That was not fucking funny, Rose! God, I wish I could kill you myself now! <laughs> They're gone. What? They're gone. Yeah. How's that rejection stinging you? What do you mean? Apparently we lack the one quality they look for in a person. Souls. Of course. They must have been sucking on us all night before figuring out the fridge was empty. Our curses turned out to be a blessing. <laughs> We're immune. And ready to start the new day. an accident. Well, get it out! Ow! You did that on purpose! I did not. Yes, you did! You were literally chopped up by cannibals yesterday, and now you're complaining about a little arrow? What well, fucking hurt, Rose? Ursula, grow some fucking balls! It's gonna be a long walk compared to what we've just been through. What, the aliens, the zombies, and the psycho fucking cannibals? Yeah, that is a vacation. Can't argue with that. So, scary question. 
What the hell are we going to do when our food supply runs out because every human on this planet is wiped out by those things? Already thought it through. See, at last count, there are about 4,500 blood banks in the U.S. alone. So that'll tide us over for at least another century. And then when that taps out, we just migrate someplace else. <laughs> Always planning ahead. That's what I love about yeah. And for the record, worst fucking birthday ever. That was that was so southern. <laughs> yes, again. you did. about these things for a long, long time, but they did not heed my warnings. What voice am I speaking in? Holy shit. Did somebody go Psh. I did. Yeah, let's not do that. Ursula, grow some fucking balls!